hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so with this video we are going to learn how we can use the Casio calculator to solve for first order differential equation and this is a probable form so stay with me and learn how we can do it so the first thing we need to do is that when a question is given to us as this this is a question given to us so first you need to make this divide dx a subject as you know that when you make this one a subject you're going to get what y prime is equal to it will be the same as x y minus y squared all over s squared so mostly i'm going to use this to it's mainly for section e that's a, the subject no the objective sorry so now in objects when they solve this they'll provide an answer for you so that answer will help you to use your calculator to solve for the first differential that's the first order differential equation so for example um the answer of this was given us so we are going to prove it using the y is equal to x over ln x minus c so this was the answer given to us that is in the preamble the answer was this right so that is why is equal to x over ln x minus c now mostly when the answers are given to you and y is a subject you can use this procedure so what you do now is you're going to choose value for x and c so let's choose value for x to be 3 and c to be 4 so we have this value x is 3 and c is 4 so we are going to choose the value then we are going to find y from here so we are going to take your calculator we are going to take your calculator and what you do now is we are going to insert so we have x x is 3 over ln 3 minus n y l c is 4 so minus 4 so you know that the answer for y here, answer for y here is what negative 1.03398. So this is y. Now then, what you do is that you are going to save this as any alphabet on the calculator. So you are going to press Shift plus Store. Okay. So now on the calculator, a is y. You come back. So now you go back to the the differential equation here that you've done the y prime the subject and you input the value so what you do now is you go here and what you do is x y so we have x y is 3 and you put what a note that the a is now negative 1.003 and therefore minus y squared that will be a squared so you have a squared and over x squared so over x squared is 3 squared and that value will give you so now we have y prime here y prime here to be equal to um that's it negative 0 0.463455 we have it here now what you do now is that you therefore go back here and therefore use the calculator to differentiate so you press this and this to differentiate now when you differentiate you're going to differentiate this so this one here you're going to no this was the answer so you're going to differentiate this one so when you differentiate we should get the value for y as a when you like three is equal to this one so let's differentiate um okay so let's differentiate the answer rather so you're going to differentiate the answer rather so when we differentiate the answer we should get y to be y prime to be the answer of this I get it. So we are going to differentiate the answer. When you differentiate the answer and you put x is equal to 3 and c is equal to 4 inside, we should get the y prime to be this. So let's do something. So we are going to put in that is this one. So x, so alpha plus x over, so it is len x. So len alpha plus x. You close it, but minus. Now we are taking our c to be 4 so you put 4 inside minus 4 and x is what x we are taking x to be what 3 so you put in 3 inside and you press equal to 
you see the answer we had here negative 0 0.634 that's the same answer we have here negative 0 0.364 that means that this is the word the answer to this word differential equation that's how you do so in exams when you're finding mcqs and you own won't use the calculator to confirm you don't need to calculate when it is separable form you make the y the subject divide the s the subject and after your solution to the answer that you're going to get you must make y the subject and follow the procedure correctly thank you very much for watching my youtube video and i hope you subscribe thank you